life every day let it die not okay all i want and i pray all i need in this lecture we are going to go over some basic ai governance principles they include having a pro innovation mindset consensus driven outcome focused law technology and industry agnostic non prescriptive risk centric and end to end accountability you should remember all of these principles and the following definitions and explanations of them having a pro innovation mindset means that your organization is innovating with purpose you are preparing for changes and new products to address those changes having a pro innovation mindset also ensures that ai in your organization addresses a specific gap or need is aligned with organizational principles which you hopefully set up in the previous lecture and that your organization is fiscally responsible being consensus driven is hopefully self explanatory this means that you're involving all of the appropriate stakeholders and that everyone understands needs versus risks being outcome focused means that your organization is not focused only on the bottom line that there is a clearly defined desired outcome it means ensuring that ai serves an intended purpose and that if necessary a non ai alternative is considered the principle of being law technology and industry agnostic means that your organization or the the ai system that you're thinking about bringing on board is interoperable across systems laws industries technologies business processes and practices as we've seen elsewhere it's important that your organization is able to explain how ai solves a particular business problem you want your system and your governance body to be cross functional meaning that it should be able to operate across functions such as privacy, security, data governance, legal, accessibility and digital safety. You may consider the interoperability of the risk management framework that you choose with those such as NIST 853 Rev 5, NIST 837, of course the NIST AI RMF and the CIS critical controls. Those are just a few examples of other risk management frameworks and controls that are out there. Similarly, you want to make sure that your governance body and your systems are aligned with strategies across the organization. Otherwise, gaps between these organizations may be exploited. Being non-prescriptive means that risks are being approached in a context-specific use case manner, meaning that there is not one approach or one way of handling risk. You're going to want to tailor your risk mitigations and controls for the particular systems that your organization has. Being risk-centric means that your organization understands risks and risk factors. and aligns the governance body and framework accordingly. Finally, end-to-end -end accountability means that your organization, your governance body has created policies and procedures that ensure third-party accountability. You want to identify risks that are particular to each stakeholder and each link in the supply chain, especially if we're thinking about working with vendors and third parties outside of the organization. and finally clarifying who owns the ai output in this lecture we have gone over seven different governance principles they include having a pro innovation mindset being consensus driven being outcome focused having a law technology and industry agnostic approach being non prescriptive risk centric and ensuring end to end accountability Again, you're going to need to understand the meaning of each of these for the exam.